Hey guys, Darren here from Celebrity Tributes. Today we're going to dive into the story of Ronald DeFeo, the killer in the Amitable Horrors. Ronald DeFeo was born on September 26, 1951 to parents Ronald Sr. and Louise in Brooklyn, New York. He was the eldest of five children and grew up in an upper middle class home. Although his father was a domineering figure, often engaging in fiery fights with his mother and was on the receiving end of his father's discipline. As DeFeo matured, he began fighting back against his father as well as his few friends. His family took him to a psychiatrist because of their concerns. This did not help at all. So they tried the tactic of giving him money and presents to stop his behaviour. But this just made things worse. By the time he was 17, he had become an LSD and heroin addict and was expelled from school. Over time, his parents continued to try and support their son. He was hired and given a position at his grandfather's car dealership and earned a weekly salary despite his poor attendance. DeFeo used this money to spend on his car, another gift that he was given as well as on guns, alcohol, and drugs. DeFeo's violent behavior only escalated over time. He threatened a friend with a rifle on a hunting trip and also attempted to shoot his father with a shotgun during an argument. On that particular time, the gun malfunctioned and his father ended the argument and was left shocked. In 1974, DeFeo was feeling unsatisfied with his wage and started plotting ways of embezzling money from the dealership. By late October, he was given the job to deposit more than $20,000 into the bank for the dealership. He planned a mock robbery with a friend. The plan worked. But when the police attended the dealership and questioned him, he flew into a rage, refusing to attend the police station for questioning. His father began to suspect he was involved. When asked about his lack of cooperation with police, DeFeo threatened to kill his father. This kicked off the events which would become known as the Amitable Horrors. In the early morning hours of November 13th, 1974, DeFeo acted on his threats. Over a 15-minute period, he systematically executed his entire family as they lay in bed, using a 35 caliber Marlin rifle from his stash of guns he had been collecting. He got ready for work, collected his bloody clothing and gun, dumping them in a drain on the way to work. He then began planning his alibi. He went to work, then called home pretending not to know why his father didn't attend work. Around noon, he left work spending the day with friends, telling them he couldn't get hold of anyone at home. At approximately 6.30pm, DeFeo entered Henry's bar, which was not far from his home. He ran in shouting that he needed help and telling the patrons his parents had been shot. A group went back to the house, including DeFeo's best friend, Robert Kelsky. They discovered the bodies of the family members and called the authorities. During the investigation, DeFeo tried to implicate Mafia hitman Louis Fellini, saying there had been bad blood between them due to some work that DeFeo had done at the dealership. But over time, the story changed until he finally confessed to the killings. The trial started on October 14, 1975. His defence lawyer, William Weber, attempted an insanity plea, with DeFeo saying he heard voices telling him to kill his family. The psychiatrist for the defence, Dr. Daniel Schwartz, supported the claim saying DeFeo was neurotic and suffered from dissociative disorder. But the psychiatrist for the prosecution, Dr. Harold Zolan, proved he suffered antisocial personality disorder, making him aware of his actions and motivated by self-centred attitude. On November 21, 1975, the jury found DeFeo guilty of six counts of second-degree murder and was sentenced to six consecutive life sentences serving his sentence at Greenhaven Correctional Facility in Beekman, New York. The case inspired many books and feature films, including the 1979 film The Amitable Horror. On March 12, 2021, Defoe passed away at the Albany Medical Center. As of this video, the cause of death has not been released. He was 69 years old. And that is the story of the killer of the Amitable Horror, Ronald Defoe. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment down below and share the video. Thank you very much for listening and watching. See you next time. Bye.